What the hell is going on guys? Pretty good here and today welcome back to another episode of Perk Analysis. Now if you guys are new around here, this is the series where I look back at every single perk call that these zombies has come to offer us. I'm going to bring them down to you guys exactly what they do and give you guys some interesting trivia along the way. So today we're going to be covering the most underrated perk in my opinion, Deadshot Daiquiri. Deadshot Daiquiri is tied for the lowest price of a perk at 1500 points alongside Quick Revive. However on the PC version of the zombies games, Deadshot only costs 1000 points, making up for the absence of one of the key effects of the perk. Deadshot made his debut in Call of the Dead and is the most limited perk of all the perks released in Black Ops 1, only appearing in Call of the Dead, Shangri-La, Moon, Mob of the Dead, and from the Wonder Fizz Machine in Origins. Now like I said at the beginning of the video, Deadshot is the most underrated perk in my opinion. One of the biggest reasons why people dislike this perk is because its effects are really misunderstood. So let's go through exactly what Deadshot does. Now Deadshot actually has four different effects, each of them designed to help your accuracy. The first effect you gain is your hip fire spread is tightened by 35%. Now if you guys aren't really big into numbers having to do with guns, that is an insane improvement and if you guys look at the gameplay on the screen you can see that I already have the ray gun and it already has some really narrow crosshairs. Now with that shot you can see a noticeable increase even though the crosshairs were already really narrow before. Another example is with the MG-08. As you guys can see the crosshairs are really big even for a light machine gun. Now with that shot the 35% increase is pretty much self explanatory, I mean now it has a hip fire similar to an assault rifle. The second effect you acquire is that all the idle sway from snipers is completely removed. Now when I first read up on this I was really shocked because this is something you really need to just check out for yourself. So if you guys look at the gameplays on the screen you can see that the top one is without deadshot and the bottom one is with deadshot. Once again this is pretty much self explanatory so let's move on to the third effect. The third effect is really simplistic reducing some of your weapons recoil and the fourth effect is the most noticeable which moves the aim assist from the torso to the head making it easier to get headshots. It should be noted that on the PC version of the zombies, Deadshot is only worth 1000 points, making up for the loss of the aim assist when using a keyboard and mouse. Alright guys, hopefully I brightened your eyes to Deadshot, now let's move on to some trivia. Deadshot Daiquiri is based on the real life alcoholic cocktail, Daiquiri. According to the players, this perk has a really sweet taste with Samantha claiming it tastes like strawberries. Ooh, strawberries! And something a little like spleen. Nikolai and Dempsey seem to be the only ones that dislike this perk. Nikolai dislikes it because it makes him feel sober. Weirdly enough, Deadshot is actually an alcoholic beverage. My body feels drunk, but my eyes feel sober. I don't like. Even if the aim assist is disabled in the settings, the aim assist effect will still be present after buying the perk. Similarly to PhD Flopper, in Mob of the Dead and Cell Block, the bottles for Deadshot Daiquiri retain the older models used in Black Ops 1, not featuring the perk's logo around the neck. Once again, this is corrected in Origins. The Deadshot machine itself isn't actually like a vending machine. It has two nozzles and a broken glass in it and the nozzles read hot or cold, meaning you can pour out your own drink. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of another prank analysis video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe for more zombies videos, and also guys, in the last couple editions of prank analysis, the trivia has been getting very limited. That's because the perks have appeared very, very few times. So in the future, for the four perks that were released after Black Ops 1, their trivia is very limited because they've only appeared once or twice. So if you guys can kind of give me some suggestions on what to cover on the perks besides some trivia to kind of extend them because I really don't feel like making two minute videos for the last four perks, that that would be really appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.